Okay, when you're ready. All the world was saved, and all the men and women knew the players. This quote from Shakespeare's play, as you like it, encapsulates the idea of uni them and us, considering how we all interact and the roles we have in each other's lives. My first real encounter with Shakespeare was a GCSE English literature, formally studying Macbeth, formally studying Macbeth as a required text. Like many other people, I initially found it difficult to understand the complexity of the language, learning quotes for the exam, but nothing more. The way young, the way young people engage with Shakespeare's work makes it hard, hard to understand the importance and the substance, substance behind it. So, introducing into the grave. Through this project, I want to explore Shakespeare's work in an innovative way using social media to reach my target audience of young people who normally only see Shakespeare, Shakespeare's work in a formal setting. Presenting it in a visual way means that it's easier to interpret the complex and artistic language, whilst also having the capacity to make use of interactive options available on social media platforms like comments to encourage sharing of their own readings. It's really important for young people to get cultural capital, which I aim to uniquely give them in this format, which is tailored to them rather than the one size fits all, which is given to them in education. This, uh, this famous monologue from Lady Macbeth was my first starting point for this project, visualizing the contrast between what she is hallucinating and the reality of her vulnerability. And I think I could really um, explore this in an interesting way. The complexity of the language gives, re gives me a really good foundation to work off to develop matching visuals that represent my own interpretations. Using this as well as other Shakespeare monologues to make up the series exposes the target audience to a variety of different texts exploring a range of themes and concepts that feature across his face. Uh, as I said before, my target audience is uh, primarily young people who use social media. Typically, their own interaction with Shakespeare at this stage, with it, with this stage, <laughs> at this stage, would be within an educational setting. But by making this more interesting for them, Shakespeare can be introduced to this new audience in an engaging way, which means they'll be more truly engaged. Representing the abstract nature. Of Shakespeare, of what, her, what Shakespeare has written is really important. My personal reading will differ from the next person, and so giving the room for audience to consider how they interpret the text differently means this product is more thoughtful than simply just being viewed. Social media platforms could be really advantageous for me since the primary demographic um, use are the primary users of this platform. The short form structure of the monologue series also fits with how the how they typically use social media for just quick viewing and quick videos. It also gives me the opportunity to interact directly with the audience in a way that they are familiar with, making use of like, follow and comment features. Taking inspiration from the teen, dra teen drama Euphoria, I want to make use of bright neon colours and lighting at, with interesting camera angles, which give me the opportunity to experiment with cinematography, also linking to the experimental representation of the text. By having a representative cast, of, including minority groups, means that they are more include, included in the discussion where they are often excluded, with high culture having a, a level of elitism surrounding them. Engaging audience to shape, engaging audiences to Shakespeare in this new way will give them a fresh perspective and make it more accessible to them, giving them more opportunities to engage with what have what may have been difficult before. Okay, nice. Um, so can you explain to me exactly what your product is? So is it a campaign? Is it an app? Yeah, it's a social media campaign series of different Shakespeare monologues to give young people more exposure to his work. 
Okay. Um, so where do you intend to distribute distribute this in terms of like specific platforms? Yeah, I think Instagram would probably have the most um, with the different variety of because they've got real stories and actual posts and videos. I think that would be sort of the main platform. But and then yeah, sort of branching out to all of them. So there's convergence. Nice. Um, and in terms of like uh, uses and gratifications, is this primarily to educate or are you thinking about like a different um, appeal yeah, as well? I think education is probably the, the main one, but and then also getting like self-identification from the diverse actors to sort of, that would be sort of initially to get them involved, but and then, yeah, the main one would be education. Mm. Do you see a school application in this at all? Because I know that uh, we get trapped with the GCSEs and things yeah. like that, but also like Shakespeare is huge beyond that. So do, is there a place for this in schools? I think because in schools there's such sort of like a set process that it would be, this is more to sort of engage them outside of it so that there is sort of that interest that's wider than just learning the quotes and things for the exam. Mm. Would this be helpful for learning quotes as well though? Yeah, in terms of like yeah. just extending that yeah, yeah. brilliant well done <laughs>